Hi everybody, welcome to Everybody Arts. My name is Mr. Matt, and today we're going to be making a coffee filter jellyfish. Um, we're gonna start off with uh, the supplies that you're gonna need today. First, we're gonna start out with some uh, Crayola washable markers. I think you can use the regular kind. Uh, we're also going to use um, some string, twine, any kind of string really, uh, regular coffee filters, uh, scissors, uh, scotch tape, a water spray bottle, or I think you could probably even use a washcloth and just drip water onto the coffee filters. You want cardboard too. You want a thicker cardboard to put behind the project that you're working on because the markers will go through the coffee filters. Also, you want some thinner cardboard. Uh, I used a um, cereal box uh, to cut a little circle out to help stabilize the, the top of the jellyfish when you put string through it. So right now all I'm doing is putting the coffee filter on top of a card piece of cardboard, um, just a scrap, and um, putting uh, any color on it really that you want. I put uh, a lot of blue on it and then I'm filling up any space that I have there with uh, pink. Uh, the more color you put on it, the darker it's going to be. I put about six to eight sprays of water on it. I'm doing a little time lapse so you can watch what happens after you spray it with water and let it sit. I let it sit for about a minute and a half to two minutes and then I move the cardboard over to the side. Um, if you pick it up off the cardboard right away, it will um, make the colors lighter because there's a puddle of water underneath that filter with the colors still in it just so you know if you pick it up and it, it might run a little bit so you have to be very careful always have like a paper towel or something handy uh, or a, a rag that you don't care about very much because we don't have a lot of extra paper towels handy I know so you need one for the head which I already did that darker one that I set off to the side now I'm working on the legs and I want three of the same pretty much for myself that's what I did so I'm going to just use a lighter color like pink and just a little bit of purple on top um, and that would make it lighter and then I'm going to spray a decent amount of water on it and if I pick it up like I said off of the cardboard pretty quickly after I do it um, and just move it to another piece and make sure there's no water sitting under it it's going to be light some cardboard soaks up the water and the uh, ink from the crayon uh, the markers pretty quickly so um, that's something to keep in mind too that might make it lighter. We're going to cut out a spiral. Now I got a little nervous uh, cutting the one that I spent time on. It takes a little bit, like I said, to do all the marker and then uh, spray it and then wait for each one because I had to do four coffee filters and spray them and tie dye them. So I wanted to try uh, testing it out on a regular coffee filter that I didn't do any work on. So you're gonna start at the bottom. This is for the legs and you're gonna start out at a point and slowly start widening the leg as you cut. It should be pretty self-explanatory, but it's a spiral and it gets larger the closer you get to the middle of the coffee filter. I decided not to speed this one up because I wanted to make sure that everybody could see exactly how I was doing it. Um, I'll speed up the rest of them, but I, I, did, I wanted to take my time so you could actually see what I had. Um, I wanted you to see what I had when I finished and how I got to the finished product. When you spray the coffee filters with water, you're going to get rid of those cool ridges that it has. You don't necessarily have to make legs if you don't want to. Um, I mean, spray them with tie-dye. You could use the white coffee filters as they are. They look really pretty, but I really like the, the color that I got for my legs uh, for the jellyfish. Um, 
So uh, I'm just gonna cut those as a spiral right now, just like I did with the plain coffee filter. There you see we have three total legs. Uh, I'm not gonna make you sit and watch me cut all three legs out. Uh, at regular speed. Uh, just you cut them all exactly the same. You can go legs wider as you get closer to uh, the, the middle of the coffee filter. Here I'm putting uh, between three and four knots in the bottom of a piece of string. In this part of the video, it shows that the string's already in the jellyfish, but we'll be putting that on last. Uh, that's because I didn't follow any instructions. I just kind of made this up as I went along. So this part, I'm just using, um, you know, clear tape, and I'm putting, uh, I'm putting them on the bottom and like uh, I'm spacing them evenly, uh, like kind of in a triangle pattern. I'll put one tape, a uh, piece of tape on each one, and then I'll go back and I'll, I'll put another piece of tape just to make sure that they're even. But again, don't put the string in yet. I'll show you how to, in a real, real easy way to put the string in after we get the uh, legs on here. And we're attaching them underneath. And on the second one, we'll put on the third one, and then we'll put on an extra piece of tape on each one just for strength. I still have mine sitting up after about a week and, and uh, haven't had any problems. It's inside, but um, and my cats aren't playing with it yet. And hopefully it stays that way. I like cereal boxes a lot to use for projects. Uh, they're really thin, they're easy to cut with scissors. They're not, they're gonna ruin your scissors not quite as fast as any other kind of cardboard because they're really thin. Um, and it's pretty sturdy. It's a sturdy material to use to reinforce things. Um, right now I'm just, um, tracing about the size of the bottom of a coffee filter onto uh, the inside of the cereal box. And we're gonna use that to reinforce the, um, the head of our um, jellyfish. We cut out the uh, circle on, from the cereal box cardboard and um, I'm gonna set it down on the uh, jellyfish and roughly mark about where the center is not super important, just get close. I'm not going to measure. Now we take it and we put it on a, a thicker piece of cardboard, maybe one that's folded over. And now I'm gonna push a hole through the center of that cardboard that we cut out with the pencil first. Then I'm gonna take that pencil and the twine and I'm gonna push that twine through the hole that I just made with the pencil. I'm also gonna push that twine uh, through the coffee filter through a hole I punched with it. That's why I have that cardboard behind it to keep that pencil from going through. And also it's pretty soft uh, behind the coffee filter head and the other piece of cardboard. It allows me to kind of slowly work that string through um, both that other piece of cardboard and the coffee filter head. Now, if you look, when I pull it up and, and I did have that, uh, my knots on the other side of that string, like we did earlier, um, can you see how the head stays rounded before it was just really f a big floppy mess so now it looks like a jellyfish and I was all excited and kind of geeked out and took it outside by the pool to take some movies um, and it was really cute because there's a breeze outside and stuff so I'll let you look at it for a few minutes I was really happy with the way the colors turned out the colors do change if you leave them for a little while. Uh, I was really, really happy with the way it turned out. Very excited. 
Uh, again, I didn't look it up. Um, I know that there are other ways to do these. Um, probably better ways um, to get uh, more solid results every time to know exactly how it's going to look, but I was really excited. Make sure you have your parent or guardian uh, post pictures of them on Instagram at, at Mr. Matt Arts or use the hashtag Mr. Matt Arts. And um, I, because I'd love to see like the different tie dye jellyfish you guys make. Um, see if you could hold them up in a window or to the light so I can see through them. And they'd be really cool. I mean, I made a bunch, but this was my favorite one. So I, uh, I'll i actually put up uh, on Instagram, I'll put up some pictures of the ones that I didn't uh, use because uh, they're really cool. Um, I was really excited about those. So, um, and oh, this week we're going to be doing uh, our Let's Draft Friday and the words are squishy whale. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So make sure you join us uh, Friday and uh, we're going to do another uh, Let's Draw Friday with, um, with me and Emma and hopefully Eric will join us again because that was a lot of fun having all three of us draw at the same time. Um, I hope you have fun with this project. Again, you know, post them and then uh, you guys have a great day, a great week, and uh, we'll see you Friday. All right. Uh, be good to each other. Take care and we'll see you then.